Today we are going to discuss about the group multiplication table for C2V point group. The symmetry operations of C2V point group are E C2 sigma V XZ and sigma V OEZ. The C2 axis is present in the molecular plane it passes through the oxygen atom and it bisects the two OH bonds. The sigma V XZ plane is in the molecular plane cutting through all the atoms. One half of each atom is above this plane and another half of each atom is below this plane. During reflection the upper half of each atom becomes the lower half and the lower half of each atom becomes the upper half but the position of the atoms is not changed. In the case of C2 axis during rotation about the C2 axis the two hydrogen atoms are interchanged. In the case of sigma v oz it cuts through the oxygen atom it is perpendicular to the molecular plane it bisects the two OH bonds during reflection about this plane the hydrogen atom in the left gets shifted to the right and the hydrogen atom in the right gets shifted to the left in the group multiplication table the column headers or the symmetry operations E, C2, Sigma V, XZ, Sigma O, E, Z. Similarly the row headers will be E, C2, Sigma V, XZ and Sigma V, O, E, Z. Normally the operations on the top which is marked in the screen with a green oval are performed first followed by the operations on the side that is operations on the top are performed first and the operations on the side are performed next now for example if we consider the operation E in the top which is performed operation E is the operation of doing nothing. If it is followed by any other operation on the side, E on the top followed by E on the side will be E. E on the top followed by C2 on the side will be C2 because E is doing nothing. E on the top followed by sigma V XZ on the side is sigma V XZ. E on the top followed by sigma v o e z on the side will be sigma v o e z. If we consider doing an operation in the top followed by e, e is once again doing nothing. C2 on the fo top followed by doing e it will be C2. Sigma V XZ on the top followed by E will be Sigma V XZ. Sigma V OEZ on the top followed by E will be Sigma V OEZ. For example, consider the water molecule shown on the screen. The two hydrogen atoms are distinguished for our own convenience with the different colors. One hydrogen atom is yellow in color and the other hydrogen atom is green in color. When the C2 operation is done, the two hydrogen atoms will be shifted. Yellow will be, be go to the other side, hydrogen atom marked green will come to the left side. If followed by E, E is doing nothing and so there will not be any change and the net result of these two operations will be C2. 
Next, if we consider C2 followed by C2, consider the water molecule shown on the screen. C2 axis is present in the molecular plane, passing through oxygen, bifurcating the two OH bonds. When the operation C2 is performed, it is rotation through 180 degrees. The iron atoms will be interchanged and uh, yellow will go to the right, green will go to the left. If you perform C2 operation again, it will come back to the original arrangement and the combination of these two C2 operations will be E. So, C2 will followed by C2 on the top, followed by C2 on the side will be E. What of the exercise is the model? plane in the molecular plane cutting through all the three atoms one half of each atom is above the plane and one half of each atom is below the plane when you do the reflection the upper half becomes lower half and lower half becomes upper half but there is no change in position of the atoms and so yellow will remain as yellow and green will remain as green and there will not be any change and these two sigma v axis can be marked together as E and so sigma v is on the top and the sigma v is axis on the side will together give E. Now we come to sigma v o z sigma v o z sigma v o z is the plane passing through oxygen atom which is perpendicular to the molecular plane which bisects the two OH bonds during refraction the two hydrogen atoms are interchanged if we do sigma v o z yellow will come to the green right green will go to the left if we do the sigma v o z again the original arrangement will be restored and so this will be E so sigma v o z on the top sigma v o z on the side this will be E now we will come to the other operations. Sigma V axis followed by C2. Sigma V axis on the top, C2 on the side. Sigma V axis is a molecular plane and the position of the atoms will not be changed. And when you do the C2, they will be interchanged. And the net result of these two operations will be equal to sigma v o z. We can think that since this is an interchange, it's just C2. But there is a condition in the case of mathematical groups that no operation should be repeated along a row and repeated along a column. Uh, C2 is already present and so you will not get C2 again. You will get only sigma v o z. Sigma v o z. Now we will go to the next operation sigma v o e z followed by c2 sigma v o e z in the top is performed first followed by c2 on the side and sigma v o e z is a plane passing through oxygen perpendicular to the molecular plane and so during reflection the atoms will be interchanged yellow will go to the right green will go to the left and when you do the c2 rotation about the c2 axis 180 degree rotation once again the atoms will be interchanged and this looks as though the result of these two operations is doing nothing but already there is an E present in the row as well as column and so you will not have a second E and this is equal to sigma v axis atoms are not interchanged during sigma v axis and so sigma v o e z c2 will be equal to sigma v axis Next is sigma v o e z followed by sigma v x z. Sigma v o e z followed by sigma v x z. Sigma v o e z on the top and the sigma v x z on the side. Top followed by the side. O e z is cutting through oxygen atom perpendicular to the molecular plane. Reflection will allow the two hydrogen atoms to interchange. Sigma v x z is the molecular plane cutting through all the atoms and the reflection about this plane will not interchange the hydrogen atoms. First you do the sigma v o z which is the operation in the top. 
and the two hydrogen atoms will remain interchange yellow will go to the right and green will go come to the left next if we do the sigma v axis there will not be any change and so we find the net interchange between the initial and the final structure this is equivalent to c2 this is equivalent to c2 next we come to sigma v axis followed by sigma v o is at first sigma v axis the operation the top is performed axis is the molecular plane and so nothing happens sigma v o is at is a plane passing through oxygen atom perpendicular to the molecular plane by bisecting the two OH bonds and so the hydrogen atoms will be interchanged the net result of these two operations is once again interchange of hydrogen atoms and if you look at this there is no C2 in the column as well as row and so here you will find C2 next is C2 followed by sigma v axis first you do the C2 hydrogen atoms will be interchanged then you will do the sigma v axis there will not be an interchange of any atom and uh, this is cannot be written as C2 because already you find a C2 here and this is equivalent to sigma v OEZ so this will be equivalent to sigma v OEZ next is C2 followed by sigma v OEZ C2 is the operation in the top when doing C2 the atoms will be interchanged green will come to the left yellow will go to the right during sigma v oez the atoms will interchange once again and so yellow will come to the left original you find the original arrangement but you cannot write it as e because already you find an e in the row as well as column and this is sigma v axis and so here the result is sigma v axis the thumb rule is that along a row as well as along a column there should not be any repetition and uh, to summarize all these things you find all these question marks which are going to be filled up if you find E in the row or column against it you write the same operations because E is the operation of doing nothing and so first fill up the cells opposite to E by the same operations as in the header columns next is c2 star c2 is e sigma v axis at star sigma v axis at is e sigma v o e z star sigma v o e z is equal to e fill up these things it will become e and the next thing is c2 star sigma v axis at c2 star sigma v axis at is this location this is sigma v o e z the other things can be just filled by observation that is the fourth one that which is missing here you find C2 E sigma v o e z and so what is missing is sigma v x z here we find sigma v o e z sigma v x z E and what is missing is C2 here you find C2 E and sigma v x z C2 E and sigma v x z and what is missing is sigma v o e z similarly you can fill up the other elements also this completes the group multiplication table for c2 v example for c2 v point group is water molecule thank you